done a video that sort of showed you the Boolean and how adding and subtracting works. Now I want to actually sort of do a demonstration of making something with it. So add, and I'm going to work with the sphere again. Uh, but we spoke about the amount of detail, and I want good sharp edges. So I want quite a lot of detail um, in the sphere. So I'm actually going to triple this. So um, I think this is 128. And this will then be um, 64. All right, so you can see now I've got a much, much more detailed sort of mesh going on here. So we can put that down. And uh, now, once again, um, I, that's going to be my main form. So let's, let's call this the body. So I actually, you know, that's the default name. I want to give it a name that I can remember what it is. So it was a right click over the name, down to ID, down to rename. Body stroke one. Okay, uh, and now I'm going to make you know, demonstration two pieces. So I'm going to copy this. Let's shift D and enter. So this is copy of that so I want to call that body 2 right click ID down to rename body 2 okay and we'll put body 2 out of sight for now and um, so that's body 1 um, now what I'm wanting to do is sort of do an addition sticking out from this body and do a repeat and it'll come clear in a moment um, but I'll make it out of this shape. So again, Control D. It's a duplication of that. Let's put on the Move button. It's easier to see what we're doing. And uh, so I'm going to scale this down a little bit, about that much. Um, now what I'm about to do is really useful to be able to look at my model straight on and from on top. So I'm going to split this window. So I've got two views. So I come over to the side here until my cursor goes double arrow, right click, vertical split, we'll do it in the middle of the screen, move that over, middle, now I've got two views. Um, this view I'm going to tend to work it from on top, so that's the Z view, so I can press on that, or numpad 7. That didn't work. Anyway, I'll work from there. Um, so now I just want to shape this sphere to what I want. So I'm going to scale, I'm going to scale it down a little bit in the blue direction. That's not what I want. Uh, in the green direction. So scale. I think green direction is Y. So bring that in a little bit about I think that much. And um, I want to reduce it in the, oh, actually if I just push this in, it might do it. Yeah. Yeah, when it's sticking out by about, say that much. Okay, and I want a bit more detail. This will come clear on the end of this. So I'm going to, once again, duplicate the little kind of lozenge shape I have now, D uh, and enter. And move that out a bit, but it's the same size, so it's hard to see. We scale that down and get it to stick out. And then you can start to see what I'm talking about here. And uh, I want to scale that a bit in the up and down the Z direction. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. Now I want to stick the little guy to the bigger one. So I'm going to select the bigger one, that's my parent, and the little one um, is, keep track of this, is body number 102. Um, that is body 101. So the Boolean is a modifier, so it's a spanner modifier boolean i want to union it 
and I want a union body O2. I've got a bit of a mix with my names now. Anyway, that's doing the right thing. I want to get the little one to stick onto the bigger one. And I can see that's that's happened there, so I'm happy with that. And uh, let's apply that. And it's the last time that I actually needed body number two. So I'm now going to delete that. So there was a right click and delete. Okay. So if we go into wireframe, you can see that that little piece has now been stuck onto that, but these are two separate. So back into solid view. Right now, what I want to do is uh, stick this onto the main parent body. So I select the parent body. Um, I suppose let's give this a new name. Um, rename. Um, and uh, attach. You can never think of a good name, but anyway, it's going to be the attach. So we want to put an attach onto the body. So body is selected, add boolean, um, and I want to union it, and I want the attach. Uh, that's looking good, and I can apply that. All right. So now this is why I'm looking from on top with this one. I want to revolve this body um, by 60 degrees. So my key is press R for revolve. And then in my numbers across the top of my board, I will press 60. And you can see the body is then, that's the one that got stuck on, has been revolved by 60 degrees. And my apply shape is still sitting where it was. So I can now do the boolean again. I want the union and put the attach on, sorry, the attach form. And the drop down and apply. And then back over that window, rotate 60 degrees. And you can see we start to stick it all the way around. So add modifier. Boolean union object. This now just gets repetitive, but you'll get the idea. And apply that back over here. Rotate 60 degrees. Enter. Add Boolean union attach. Accept. Rotate 60 degrees, enter, Boolean, Union, attach, apply. One last rotate. Rotate 60, add Boolean, Union. And I'm happy with that. Okay. Right, so you know, that's the one done, um, and uh, we'll work on that just now. So let's, that's body number one. Let's put that one out of sight, work on body number two. Now, in this case, what I actually want to do is um, this shape, I want to subtract from it that I put on to be protruding into the form. Um, so, you know, what's the best way here? Let's rotate that by 180 this time. There we go. Now, you know, the detail is sticking out, so I'm going to pull this out. So this is what I want to make negative from that form. So let's come out a tiny bit more. I think that should be about it. So this now becomes my parent, and I'm going to subtract this. So we go through all the same thing again, and it's the attach I'll be doing. So add, boolean, and this time I want the difference that's already selected, and it's the attach difference that I want. Yeah, there's the negative shape. Apply. Rotate, 60, enter, 
and you can see I've now got this negative shape cutting in. Boolean already difference attach looks good. Apply. Rotate sixty. Add. Okay, right, so I've now made my two bodies with all that. Um, I don't think I any longer need the attachment, so let's just put that out of sight. Um, so do we work on these side by side? So let's switch the two bodies back on. And uh, I now want to go back to a single window. So over the uh, split until double arrow, right click, join areas, and I'm going to join left onto right. And let's select body number one and move that over to the one side. Select body number two, just so we can work on them side by side. I, I do prefer to keep things over the center point, I think, as you know, but um, so now this one, I'm going to scale it oh, only in the Z there, a little bit, I think, and similarly to this one. I push the wrong button and a scale and in the Z direction. Right, so if we, you know, we now want to, you know, print these. It's too rounded at the bottom to be a base, so I kind of need to possibly cut that off. Um, so I can work in that view like I do. And uh, we want to edit this, so it's edit mode and um, looking straight on at it, I can then, um, what do I want to do? I want to kind of select the bottom and delete it. But uh, if I just do, uh, so I click there, nothing is selected. If I did a box select like this, it would only be the front. It doesn't go right through. So um, I really do need to go into wireframe and then box select and let's take off a little bit more. Okay, and then X and the vertices, and that's now flattened that off at the bottom there. And I can do the same here, box select, let's cut the top can be a bit narrower there. And X for delete and the vertices. Okay, back to solid view. How's that looking? Um, that's okay, that's okay. Um, and back into, I now want to work on this one, so I need to be back into object mode, click on that one, let's look at it absolutely from on front again, uh, into edit mode, so that's my tab button, and I want to do a selection right through, so wireframe, that was the Z, again the box selection, let's just cut through there. X vertice, let's delete that one. And at the top here, box, let's take that much out. And X vertice, um, just for a bit of variety, I think I want the shoulder of this one to be so wider. So um, now I can box select right through, say up here. All right, so that's all selected there. And then uh, up to the proportional um, editing, and then if I scale, I can, let's just, here we go, that gives that one a bit more a change of character to the other one. Um, I think let's go back into solid. Uh, back 
can do edit mode so that I can work on this one. Let's bring this one across. And again, we're looking right from in front. I think I'm going to make the base a little bit narrow. So uh, I want to edit that. So that's the tab. Select just the bottom, hold down Alt and left click, the getting that bottom ring. Proportional editing is still on, so then I can scale. Uh, let's just say only in the X, Y, not in the Z as well. Right, so that's given a bit more elegance to that sort of shape. Right. Once again, let's just move these up. So it's just a, a habit I have. I'm kind of always thinking of working. Right, so once again, you can see sort of, you know, using the same principle, similar starting point. I've got, you know, two related objects, but using, um, you know, using the power of the software of the computer and the boolean to either add or subtract shapes uh, and then thinking through the process as well you know I wanted to place these equally all around so by viewing on top I rotated it you know 60 degree at a time so I would then end up with you know sort of six uh, surfaces either being added or subtracted 